Well, there it is. Witty here. I'm just going to talk about the Diablo 2 rumors that have been emerging. Although, to be honest, they've been emerging for a long time, let's face it. Uh, straight away, I'm just going to say I definitely think Diablo 2 Remastered is going to be coming out. Although, I don't think it's going to have many features other than literally just basically being Diablo 2 ramped up a little bit. That's my personal thoughts. Get that out there. You can use that as a quote if you wish. We're going to go over this article over at Rock Paper Shotgun by Natalie Clayton. This is the better written article, so I'm starting off with this one, and then I'm going to look at a couple of others. So, hell might freeze over before we hear more about Diablo 4, but you might not have to wait too long before facing off with the devil once more. Emissaries from Hell, well, France, suggest that Blizzard are working on a remaster of Diablo 2, reportedly summoning a modern re-release of the series highlight by the end of the year. That's all according to French site Action Gaming, via PC Gamer, who claimed to have an insight on several unannounced Blizzard games from sources close to the studio, alongside free mobile games and free mobile games, uh oh, and plans for future Warcraft expansions. Sources claim a Diablo 2 remake titled Diablo 2 Resurrected. It's reportedly on the cards for a late 2020 release. Um, lending some weight to these rumors, Action Gaming editor Julian Blairy preempted the reveal of Overwatch 2, Diablo 4, and World of Warcraft Shadow Lad uh, Shadowlands on Twitter. Blizzard also revealed that they were working on multiple Blizz uh, Diablo projects. That's basically the thing that convinces me the most, is that they already clearly stated that they're working on multiple Diablo projects to basically essentially make up for the... Uh, Hi! Oh, yes. Twitch chat, YouTube comments stuck in the past. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, hang on a second. Let me find my Twitch chat. Aha. I'll drag that up to the top there. That will keep you happy. That will shut you up. Although you won't be able to read it so easily because I don't actually have a proper background to it. And I can't put one right now whilst I'm doing the video. But yeah, uh, this is what makes it so obvious. is that Diablo Immortal came out. Blizzard were not expecting it to be uh, so ill-received. Particularly at BlizzCon, obviously it took them by surprise. Although they kind of should have known better. But because of this, they're now going whole hog on the whole Diablo franchise. So it just seems like a no-brainer to try to bring out Diablo 2, which is basically their best Diablo game. So... You're going to want to bring that out and get everyone amped up for the up-and-coming Diablo 4 and other projects that are coming Diablo. Why not? they got nothing to lose by re redoing it. If it sucks, it sucks. But they don't lose anything. It's already been made. So it's a win-win, really. So following Diablo Immortal's tepid announcement in 2018 with only Diablo 4 making its presence known since. For a while, a Diablo 2 remaster seemed a difficult feat. Speaking on the Diablo 2 net podcast back in 2017, former series head David Brevik reckoned not enough of the original assets survived to make a faithful remake. Seemingly deriding the idea of making the attempt at all. If they do a Diablo 2 remaster, it's going to be difficult to make it feel exactly like the same game. Despite this, Action Gaming reports that Ficarious Visions, the Activision studio that helped port Destiny 2 to PC and worked on the 2017 Crash Bandicoot remasters, has been contracted to do exactly that. Well, I didn't know they didn't have the code or something like that. I'm surprised a little bit with that, how they don't have the code, etc. But, well, we'll see. In another time, a Diablo 2 remaster will be the, would be universally welcome news. It's only the best one of the lot, after all. <clears throat> Warcraft 3 is actually the best one, of course, but they uh, messed that one up. But then Warcraft 3 was equally beloved, if not more beloved, if not better than Diablo 2, and its Reforged remaster hit so poorly that Blizzard started offering refunds to dissatisfied players, no questions asked. Actual gaming's sources do note that Blizzard recognized a mistake in the communication surrounding Warcraft 3 and Reforged. A mistake in the communication. That's so subtle, and that's so sort of meh in comparison to the actual hothouse of mess that occurred but the source also claims world of warcraft shadowlands may arrive later than usual and note that blizzard intend to push out two more warcraft expansions in the next three years as usual these rumors mean very little until we hear official word from blizzard treat these rumors as you would any demonic text so yeah i definitely think diablo 2 is coming out they think it's quarter four 2020 i don't think so I think with the whole recent issue, I think they'll, I mean, they'll try to hit quarter four because obviously it's close to Christmas time and it's money, but I don't think they're going to do that. Although if they just have to revamp the game, it's not going to be too particularly difficult. I don't know. I don't have the code, but I would think it would come out maybe more likely sort of early summer, late spring 2021 is my personal thought. 
but that's fine if Diablo comes out earlier. Now this article, extremetech.com, um, I wanted to cover this by Joel Hruska, um, because he is quite opinionated in his thoughts on the whole Warcraft 3 Reforged debate, so I just kind of want to throw in my own reaction thoughts to that myself. There are persistent rumours that both Diablo 2 and Diablo 4 could drop before the end of the year. There's no chance of that. Diablo 4 is not coming until like 2022. 2021 quarter 4 at the earliest, in my opinion. Again, you can quote me on this. I don't know anything. I'm just taking essentially a sensible guess as to when I think these things are coming out. There's zero chance that Diablo 4 is coming out at the end of this year. Jesus. Could drop before the end of the year, alongside the upcoming World of Warcraft expansion Shadowlands. Blizzard has reportedly come under pressure to show more return on investment on an ongoing basis over the past few years. Well, that might be the case then. If he's putting that argument forward, they could potentially put out Diablo 4. But the way I'm saying it is it's not ready for the end of this year. But if they're saying that Blizzard is under pressure because their properties aren't performing well enough in comparison to, say, Activision's properties like Call of Duty and all that. Um, I could understand them trying to force these games out like they kind of did with Warcraft 3 Reforged. But it would be a really bad idea because they did that with Warcraft 3 Reforged and look what happened. So surely they should hopefully learn from that lesson and concentrate on making Diablo 4 a good game before releasing it. So, over the past few years, and this push towards multiple simultaneous launches at the back half of the year could be the company's way of moving in that direction. The rumour comes from the French site Actiogamian, which has previously broken accurate rumours about upcoming Blizzard projects. Supposedly, Vicarious Visions is supporting Blizzard on the remakes, which would make some sense. That company has been involved in a number of remastering efforts over the past few years. A launch date before the end of the year would put Diablo 2 resurrected in danger of colliding with Diablo 4, which might not be something Blizzard wants to tee up. There's no way Diablo 4 is coming out and stop saying that. Anyway, Diablo 2 Resurrected, that name almost makes me wonder if it was the classic games team that's actually working on this, although this article I think doesn't think so. But because Warcraft 3 was called Reforged, because you know, forging and medieval times and creating weaponry, Diablo 2 Resurrected is, you know, Necromancer, Resurrecting, Animating, all that kind of stuff. That's the kind of name they would give it for this classic games team, but I guess Blizzard can call it whatever the heck they like. The, uh, will this be StarCraft Remastered or WarCraft Reforged? The problem with hearing that Blizzard is returning to Diablo 2 is that as great a game as Diablo 2 was, and I loved it enough to launch my own modding efforts around it 20 years ago, like WarCraft 3 could use more than just a coat of paint. Actually, WarCraft 3 could literally just use a tiny coat of paint in terms of amping up the classic models, but keeping their silhouettes exactly the same, but just making them a bit shinier. Like, for example, in some custom hero survivals, we've seen some classic WarCraft 3 models, like Gul'dan, be revamped and just look beautiful, but they're still the original graphics. That's all it really needed. There were some significant design limitations in the original Diablo 2 that limited the ability of early game scales to, skills to scale thereby locking end gameplay into a smaller set of talents and capabilities than looked as if would be the case starting out. Uh, honestly, I just think they're going to try to create Diablo 2. I don't think they're going to try to redo the meta and balance the game so that it would have a huge longevity. I think it's just to get some sales, surely, because it's just a game that for most people, they're just going to pick up and play. They're not going to continuously play it to the end of time. Actual gaming points out that Blizzard is aware of the communications disaster around Warcraft 3 Reforge and considers to have been a mistake of communication. The problem with Warcraft 3 Reforge apparently was that Blizzard miscommunicated that it would be a remake while it was actually just a remaster. Questionable if it was even that. That's true, to a point, but only to a point. What people hated about Warcraft 3 Reforge was partly the fact that the new game forced all previous owners into the new front end stripped out previous support for game modes and generally hammed the experience of people who had deliberately chosen not to buy Warcraft 3 Reforge. It's true that Blizzard set expectations higher for a better version of the game, but there was nothing wrong in doing so. Both Warcraft 3 and Diablo 2 could use more than just a fresh coat of graphical paint. You said this before, but I disagree with that on a second occurrence. I think Diablo 2 will be absolutely fine just being revamped, as in make it work for modern systems. That's about it. You can make it just a little bit better graphically, in the sense of not actually touching the graphics, but just making them sharper, if that makes sense. Like, just make them clearer for players. That's all you need to do. Basically what they did with StarCraft. What they did with StarCraft Remastered was ma amazing. That's all they needed to do. They didn't change it. The animations were the same. They had the same refresh rate, uh, the same amount of animations per 
minute or whatever you want to call that, um, it was exactly the same. It was just sharper and clearer to see. So that's all they needed to do. And that's all they need to do with their old properties, Warcraft 3, Diablo 2. They don't need to create a new game from them. I'm not suggesting that these titles should be fundamentally overhauled. It sounds like you are by any means, but Diablo 2 would scarcely suffer from a slightly more fleshed out plot, a bit of new lore, or some fleshed out side quests. I mean, I disagree. I think it would be fun to have some extra side quests and stuff like that, but it was a widely renowned game and very popular and very famous and very beloved for a good reason. So if you change it, you're just going to basically piss most people off. If it's a good thing, don't fix it. That's the whole point. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Partly that's because Diablo 2 has always felt thinner compared with other Blizzard worlds, as far as on-the-ground interactions with the majority of players. Yeah, but it's an action RPG. You know, it's not supposed to be super thick and in-depth with lore. Anyway, Deckard, Kane, and Tyrael were really the only fleshed out NPCs in the entire game. Everyone else was a character you exchanged a few optional bits of dialogue with. In between missions, StarCraft, which dates to approximately the same era, put a much larger emphasis on NPC and plot development. While Diablo 2 had a multiplayer component and was heavily played online, it never evolved into a competitive esport that StarCraft did. And it did not be locked to a slavish interpretation of every single original rule with no room for experimentation. I'm not even sure what he's saying in that last phrase, honestly. I agree with Blizzard that it miscommunicated badly around Warcraft 3 Reforged, um, but I don't think the problem was with the company misset expectations. I think the problem is that the company committed to one vision of the product and delivered a vastly inferior one. I agree with that. I think Blizzard did genuinely want to create something quite special with Warcraft 3 and give us more features, but I think during the beta process and way before the beta when they were taking on new members of crew to essentially work on the coding for it. I think they kind of realized or should have realized maybe earlier on that Warcraft 3 was going to be a lot more hard work than they anticipated and it was going to slow them down, which it did because it slowed them down so much they didn't even release the game with all the things that it already had. So that's how much of a hard project Warcraft 3 was to work on for the Classic Games team. I don't envy the task they had to take on and I think they realized sort of part of the way through that it was crazy. Like I remember people coming up to me and say, oh, are we going to get Naga? Are we going to get Demon Race? And I was just like, you'll be lucky if you just get the game working, you know? Don't try to like, it's nice that you want sort of some extra stuff, but they're not in a position. They're 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 on the back foot. They're behind. They're they're the opposite of being in a position where they can actually give you extra stuff. Warcraft Re Reforge feels like it was built by people who were slavishly devoted to duplicating the wrong aspects of the game. Well, that I agree with again. Um, that I agree with in regards to the graphical decision that they went with. It was essentially this gritty, realistic super hyper detailed but at the same time looked kind of funky and janky and clay model ish does not work for the warcraft 3 that we know and love it might have worked if they released it as its own separate game so there was no expectation as to what the models should look like other than the base of warcraft 3 as a default but changing warcraft 3's original graphic style with the heightened shoulder pads, the huge muscular features, the heightened head, the animated portraits and animations to this bland kind of lifeless, soulless, I don't know, MOBA slash, not MOBA, but mobile style approach was really really bad decision making from Blizzard. I think they did that mostly because they were trying to hit a new audience and say, hey, look, there's this game. You might have not played it because you only know us from World of Warcraft, but look at these graphics. So maybe you'll give it a chance, but they should have really just amped up the original graphics because the original graphics are already so good. Warcraft 3 Reforged feels like it was built by people. Oh yeah, I already read that. Um, the recreations of badly built cinematics that would should have been left in their original forms or redesigned as fundamentally different encounters. It's bad enough that I'd argue the fan-made remaster of the original Arthas versus Illidan fight is better than the one we actually got from Blizzard. If Blizzard wants Diablo 2 to be well received, it needs to demonstrate it understands what people liked about the series and what to return to in the first place. After Reforged, that's not as certain as it used to be. Indeed. And now I'm not going to read this article, but I'm just going to show you this. Is IGN so desperate to be loved? that they're now bringing animals into their videos. I caught a little bit of this. Just have a look. 
Just to Hi stop. Guys, Max here for IGN News. This is Peppers. A job listing seems to have revealed that Blizzard will remaster two more of its classic games. What is Peppers Warcraft doing there? Online services. This job the rest of this video has nothing to do no with it. There's official announcement from Blizzard regarding any more remasters. Twitter user Back to Warcraft also pointed out that the wording used in the job listing has been used in other postings for about a year now. For more on Blizzard and anything gaming, keep it right here on IGN. Say goodbye, Peppers. They're playing the game. They're playing the game. Bring an animal on and let the animal do the work. Yikes. Anyway, I just thought I'd finish off with that for a bit of fun. And those are my thoughts in regards to Diablo 2 Remastered. I definitely think it's coming out. I don't think it's coming out at the end of this year. If it does, then, well, I guess they didn't have to worry too much about the coding. But judging by one of those articles, it suggested that they have a bit more work to do to get it actually done. Um... I guess you've still got technically like five, six months to work on it, so it could potentially come out at this end of this year, but I don't think they have to bring it out. I do think they want to get it out maybe a year or two before Diablo 4 comes out, but maybe a year and a half before a Diablo back, 4 comes. Hello there. To, uh, there, was like a... there we go. Um, yeah, those are my thoughts, and that is it with Diablo 2. Uh, I have definitely look forward to it, but hopefully they get Warcraft 3 fixed first, but I don't know if it's the same team that's working on it. Judging by this, it sounds like the Classic Games team haven't got anything to do with Diablo 2 Remastered, because they didn't mention them at all, but who knows for sure. GG!